Hey, good morning, legends. It's David from Trail Adventures USA. Today, we're heading over to Premier West Gears in the city of Riverside. They're gonna be swapping out our stock gears in the Colorado ZR2 for the Nitro gears. We're gonna go with 411s, uh, we do have the 35 inch tires and we're going to see just what the difference is in gearing. Now I will tell you, it was noticeable the loss of power with the 35 inch tires and the loss of fuel economy, but they're also going to install a module under the dash that will help control shift points and a lot of other things. If you don't do this uh, it, as part of the process of upgrading your gears, your vehicle may go into a limp home mode. So you've probably heard of that before. Um, so when you're out off-roading and you're losing traction, gears are shifting in different mechanisms, it can throw signals to the computer that'll cause it to go into limp home mode. So you have to do the computer module and the update so that everything is still working together. So stay tuned for a great episode. Hope you guys get some knowledge out of this, so stay tuned. You can find Premier West Gears at the Magnolia Auto Park in Riverside. And here you can see we have a lot of the components laid out on the table. All of this is provided by Nitro Gears, including the instructions on the installation. Some of the guidelines for tolerances are also included. Guys, here's the Hypertech speedometer calibrator. Now this module has to be programmed. It goes based on what tires came stock with your truck and what tires you're putting on. Now this module um, programmer uh, stays in the truck under the dash. Part of my upgrade is to install the AEV diff cover. Super heavy duty. It's going to provide a lot of protection for the rear diff. So I'm super grateful that the people over at Precision West Gears gave me an opportunity to film in their shop. Uh, these guys run a very clean operation. Their technicians are very knowledgeable. They work very well together. And it was an honor and a privilege to be able to share some of this footage with you guys. I know a lot of people in the ZR2 community um, are dying for some of this information, some of these details, and uh, just really grateful I was able to share it with you all. Now here you can see they're removing the boron steel diff skid. This one's by AEV, it's another great product. If you guys haven't got this yet, you definitely need to buy one. At the end of the video, we're gonna test drive the truck and see what kind of improvements these gears made. So here you got a good view of the e-lockers, the Eaton locker. You can see where the wire comes through and that controls how everything works. At this point, they're starting to remove the brake assemblies, including calipers, so that they can uh, remove the axles from the differential to install the new gears. This was a good time to inspect all the brake components, including the emergency brake components, and everything looked fine. At this point, they're trying to remove the retainer clips for the axles, and uh, here you can definitely see how they work very well together, communicating when to pull or push on the axle to help release the retaining clips. At this point, they're removing the wrist pin, and I have to tell you, these guys are very meticulous. They keep the area extremely clean. They're constantly wiping things down, making sure that the area around the diff and the gears is always kept very clean.
Now watch closely as he operates the bearing press. He's going to check the bearings to make sure that they're not binding up. This is to help guarantee that it's not damaged. At this point, the new ring gear has been slipped on and all the bolts are going to be torqued down to manufacturer's guidelines. To me, that looks good. Beautiful. Yeah, it looks real good. Oh, yeah. Six to five is excellent. Excellent. And you can see here as we pan around the shop just how clean and organized everything is. That's important to me as a consumer. I like to be able to go to a shop and see that they have it together. And uh, I was very pleased, you know, Miguel runs a tight shop here. Starting to wrap things up with the rear okay. differential. The rear diff was very thirsty. You'll see it took quite a bit of uh, gear oil to get it up to the fill level. So now we have to uh, consider all the break-in periods. It's a 500 mile break-in period. Uh, you do not want to go over 65 miles per hour. You don't want to drive more than 30 miles at a time. If you do, just pull over, let the diff kind of cool down a little bit. And then after your 500 miles, we're going to return back to the shop again, have them drain the fluids and refill them, really top everything off. Now, as they wrap up the rear differential, they're gonna to proceed to do the front differential. Typically, most shops will have this job done in a day. Now, because this truck has a module that has to be programmed and installed under the dash, I will be back tomorrow to pick up the truck. Now, don't go anywhere. Our final thoughts and test drive coming up next. Okay, so what's my initial assessment? Um, the, the truck's alive again, guys. That's the good thing. These gears really helped out with putting the pep that just that punch that the Colorado ZR2 has. And I'll tell you this, fuel economy is up as well. So I'm super excited about that. So listen, if you're thinking about getting the gears, don't waste any more time. Go ahead and get them because you're gonna make your money back just in fuel economy. Now, on another note, um, we will be doing a rig walk around soon. I've been getting some requests for that and also some product reviews for some of the things I have on my truck. Um, so that's coming up. So make sure you tune in for that or subscribe so you guys can get notified that th those are coming up. Um, and um, if you're in the Southern California area and you're looking to get gears installed on your truck, wow.
<laughs> it's alive, guys. Um, yeah, so if you're looking to get gears installed on your truck, stop in and see the guys at Premier West Gears. Premier West Gears is in Riverside. These guys went over and above to get the gears in and installed in a timely manner, and I couldn't be happier. Um, so if that's not testimony enough, I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.